Okay, all you stupid people out there, today I'm going to be telling you how to turn on your GameCube, your Nintendo GameCube. Now, I'm not going to tell you how to hook it up, I'm not going to tell you where to get a GameCube, and I'm not going to tell you how to turn on your TV. Okay, that's a smart person's job. Your job, as a stupid person, is to turn on the GameCube so you can play it. Okay? Because nobody knows when a stupid person wants to play GameCube, only stupid people know that. First, the first thing you'll probably want is a game, okay? So try and remember that, a game. Set it aside. Now to turn on your GameCube once it's all hooked up, you have to push the gray circular power button. Not the reset button, this little one right here, or this little one right here. You gotta push this little gray one up here, like that. And when you push it down, remember to let it go when you're done. So push it, and don't forget to let it go. And then that should turn on, all right? This light means it's on. When you hear it humming, it means it's on, okay? All right, now, make sure a controller is plugged into the first socket, all right? Not the second one, not the third one, not the fourth one, but the first one, all right? Also, you want a memory card in your first, in your first uh, slot, all right? Not just your second one, okay? You might want one in your second one for later, but... Anyways, I hope I'm not confusing you people with all this, alright? Now, if you want to play a game, you're going to have to open it. In order to open it, you don't push the power button again, or else it'll turn off and you have to start all over again. Alright? Don't push the reset button. Push the open button, and it'll open. Now, I know it might startle you at first when it, when it jumps open at you like that. Alright? But it's all normal. Now, take your game and put it in like that. Alright, don't put it in upside down, like that. Okay, don't do that. It can't read. You gotta put it in with the with the the label and the the logo and all that other stuff facing up. Alright. Now when you put it in there, you don't wanna just set it on like that. Okay? You wanna set it on there and close it like that. It won't know what it's doing. Alright, so you have to push it down like that. Alright, once you push it down, then it'll be able to spin the disc. Okay. Now you can't play just yet, okay? If you if you put the disc in there, uh where's my controller? Oh, here's my controller. Yeah, and you go to gameplay like that, it can't read the disc because you haven't closed it yet. See, it's kind of like getting dressed. The game likes to load in privacy. If you open it up like that, it's gonna stop, see? So you have to close it like that. And when you're playing games, you don't want to be holding the GameCube like I am. You want to put it down somewhere, right? So, put it down gently. Don't drop it. Don't throw it, okay? Just put it down nicely, all right? Now, I know this is a long process, but these games are a lot of fun. All right, so what you do is you press the A button to start the game right there, see? See, I, I pressed the A button, the green one, not the circle one. If you press the, the, or not the red circle one, if you press the red circle one, you'll go back. And if you press it again, you'll go back, and you'll have to, you'll have to go like this to go back to there again, see? So, don't mess it up, okay? Press the A button, and then press the start button. It's that little gray one in the middle right there, the really tiny one. So push it, and then your game should start, okay? So, anyway, I guess that's all I have to say. Um, hopefully now you guys know how to turn on a GameCube. And I guess I'll talk to you later then and tell you what else you can do.